Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to Borderlands. So, this is the ultimate Easter eggs and secrets guide that I will be starting now. So, of course, every fan of Borderlands knows how jam-packed these games are with Easter eggs and uh, little secrets that a lot of people may not know about or may miss and run past. So, I decided to start a guide. This guide will come with uh, probably three Easter eggs or secrets per episode. I'll try and get one per game, but uh, it mainly filled with uh, Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel as they have a seriously massive amount of Easter eggs in them. Borderlands 1, not so much, but there are a few there and I'll try and cover as many as possible. So uh, yeah, this will be jam-packed with the Easter eggs and uh, references from other games and other things as well. So uh, yeah, let's start off and uh, we'll go over to Borderlands 1. So here we go, we are starting off the guide in Borderlands 1 and we're at the underpass, fast travel in Russ Commons West. All you're going to do here is grab a car and head over to this area here. Now this is uh, picked up uh, in the mission, the Hidden Journal mission from Patricia Tannis. It's called uh, Hidden Journal Russ Commons West. So when you head over to this area here, during the mission or after you've completed it, this will uh, spawn every time you will uh, eventually uncover a giant rack called Rakinishu. Uh, Rakinishu is a reference to Rakinishu, a carver boss from Diablo 2. Diablo 2 is a game with a similar item collection to Borderlands and has often been referenced by Gearbox developers as an inspiration uh, for Borderlands itself. So uh, yeah, like I said, he's a massive uh, large grey rack. He'll swoop down, breathe fire on the foes and uh, eventually when you kill him he will drop another item called the Cracked Sash which uh, is a, another reference to Diablo 2, an item can be found in that game and uh, he'll also drop a unique weapon called the Sentinel as well so that is Racking Issue, a reference to Diablo 2 Okay, for our first Borderlands 2 Easter Egg then we are in the Caustic Caverns map and uh, we're pretty much at the top left hand side of the map from the mini map if you head over to this area here across the bridge and uh, down to the side you'll eventually hit this area where you can see something very familiar if you're a minecraft player they are dirt blocks and uh, the, well the idea is to go up to them and melee them until you go through to the next area you will then be greeted by some different blocks including stone blocks uh, the black textured ones are uh, minecraft coal blocks which will give you ammo the gold ones are uh, money in Borderlands, but uh, they're obviously uh, gold ore in Minecraft. There's also the special, uh, you know, limited only to Borderlands Iridium blocks as well. They're the purple texted ones. When punched, uh, they will give you Iridium blocks. But once you get through into the area, you will be greeted by another familiar sight, which are creepers. So these act exactly like they do in Minecraft. If you get too close, they will explode. Uh, your idea here is to shoot them and uh, eventually after about six or seven you will get greeted with a badass creeper as well so kill all of these creepers and uh, you will get a chance of many things uh, there are legendary skins and uh, unique heads that will drop with them there is also the unique shotgun the uh, block head which when fired uh, actually bullets come out in a three by three square kind of um, animation which is a uh, bit pretty much the same as the uh, the crafting table uh, look in Minecraft and uh, what you actually really want to come for is the legendary weapon drop which the badass creepers do have a chance to drop and uh, that is the longbow which uh, actually fires uh, like a bow and arrow does in Minecraft so this whole area is completely filled with uh, Minecraft goodies and references and like I said I love Easter eggs where you can actually get something out at the end of them so uh, yeah this is the Borderlands 2 Minecraft Easter egg For our final easter egg we are in Borderlands the pre-sequel on the map Triton Flats and right from spawn we're going to head into the Darksiders Tower which of course is an easter egg uh, in its own right but we'll be covering that in another episode. So we're going to fight our way to the very top of the Darksiders Tower and uh, head for this room at the very top and as you go through it you'll see a guy called Neil Parsec. Now he's a special scav who can be found at the top of the Darksiders building 
He wears a purple and green suit with long rectangle wings and uh, when approached he will actually jump off and attempt to fly. As you can see, he doesn't do very well, he crashes down and uh, dies basically. But this is of course a Buzz Lightyear Easter egg. Uh, he's reenacting one of Buzz Lightyear's scenes from the Disney movie Toy Story. The name Neil Parsec, the Neil comes from uh, Neil Armstrong reference, who was of course along with Buzz Aldrin. The two people to first walk on the moon during the Apollo 11 NASA space mission. And the second part of his name, Parsec, is actually uh, based on an astronomical unit of measurement and is a further play on Buzz Lightyear reference. So that is our three Easter eggs now for Borderlands uh, Handsome Collection series. Really hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, hopefully getting as many of these as possible. I know a load of Easter eggs within this game, so I'm uh, getting them all together now. But if you want to uh, put some suggestions down in the comments, some that I might not know or some, you know, really out there far references, please feel free to let me know. Put as much uh, in the, you know, comments as you can, description-wise. Uh, and if I didn't know about them, then uh, I will add them to this list. So, there you go guys, that is Ultimate Easter Eggs and Secrets Guide within the whole Borderlands franchise. We've covered Racking Shoe in Borderlands 1, which is of course a Diablo 2 reference. Borderlands 2, we went to the Corset Caverns and looked at the Minecraft Easter Egg. And finally, in the pre-sequel, we looked at the Buzz Lightyear Easter Egg. Thanks for watching everyone, and I will see you guys in the next episode.